1957, the launch of Sputnik 1 ignited the space age. Soon after, the United Nations General Assembly established the Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, along with a small expert unit to support the committee. As the benefits of space for humankind became more and more evident, so did the need to ensure cooperation and the peaceful uses of outer space. In 1968, the international community came together in Vienna for the first United Nations Conference on the Exploration and Peaceful Uses of Outer Space, UNISPACE. The conference reviewed space activity and called for increased international cooperation, with particular regard to the benefits of space for developing countries. Fast forward to 1982, when the world gathered for Unispace 2 to address the importance of maintaining space for peaceful purposes and to develop initiatives for helping developing nations improve their access to space science, technology and applications. In 1999, the Unispace 3 conference resulted in the Vienna Declaration on Space and Human Development to address new challenges in outer space activities. And in the meantime, that small expert unit established to support the committee became the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, carrying out space-related capacity building and advocacy around the world while still serving the committee. Now, 50 years after Unispace 1, we've come together again to reflect on decades of remarkable achievements in space advocate for the use of space as a tool for sustainable development and shape the global governance of outer space activities to benefit people and the planet, now and for generations to come. What will the next 50 years of international space cooperation look like? This is our time to make progress and to make history. Welcome to Unispace Plus 50.